A lot of you may associate the use of a Loran or a GPS receiver with just finding your position on a chart or either entering and going to waypoints. But let me point out some useful benefits of a Loran that's interfaced with some type of a plotter. And this could be a GPS unit such as this Magellan GPS that was interfaced through a data output to a plotter. In this case, however, I'm using the Lawrence LMS 300. It's been on the market a couple of years. It's a very good combination Loran unit, plotter, and depth finder. At the present time, I've got a combination plotter on this part of the screen, and I'm sure you can't see that right now in detail, but I'll, the diagrams coming up will show what I'm talking about. Uh, unfortunately, the disadvantage of an LCD display is that the brighter the light is on it, the better it, it, it shows. Of course, it's got a contrast adjustment but to get outside under a canopy with a camera like this and show all of the little intricate details you need, we can't possibly do on the boat. But at this time, I'm trolling. At this particular time, I'm slow trolling for King Michael. And I've got my plotter on here. I've got a destination input in there that I'm, I'm going to. And I've got the scale set for 10 miles. That means the overall uh, diameter of this circle, shaped like this, is 10 miles. So my destination shows up here, my car position, a flashing diamond shows here, and I'm moving towards that destination. Now let's just say that we suddenly get a good strike, but the angler doesn't quite get the hook set in the fish, we lose it. Or the fish don't quite take the live bait the way we want it to. Anyway, there was probably, more than likely, a reason that particular fish was in that area. They may not be. But it's definitely an area you want to go back to. You've got one choice, you can circle, but out here in open water, you're not sure you're going to run back over that spot or not because you can't make a quick turn, especially if you've got several lines out or downriggers such as I have here. You need to make a very wide circle. So you're only guessing. You may have run across a particular bottom structure that was holding bait fish that might hold the king mackerel that you want, and there may be several king right there in that spot. So the thing you should have done is whatever manufacturer or piece of equipment you were using, if you had a plotter, or even as a matter of fact, if you just had a Loran or GPS unit, is to press save. This button is called Waypoint Save on this particular piece of equipment. It's uh, very simple, just press the button and there you go. It's asking me do I want to save it in a temporary location or do I want to put it in a permanent part of the memory? Well, I, as for right now, I just wanted it in a temp temporary